Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien with Bubba on Monday, January 24th. I mean, uh, June, 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 boy. June 24th. Sitting in here for Andy Rooney. Well, Americans, it seems like we've gone downhill in the precipice, haven't we? Today, you could say, what sells is PBS. And I don't mean public broadcasting system. PBS sells. I'll get to that in a second. Remember in the old days, when I was a kid back in the 1960s, and I know if Mr. Rooney was here, he would tell you about the 1930s when they had radio. Uh... The 1930s was really when it really started, where advertisers got after a program, you know, like the Lone Ranger and the Shadow Nose. Remember those? Then in the 50s, you had uh, the soap operas. And why are they called soap operas? It's because soap, you see, they advertise them. You had, what, Palmer Live on one side, uh, Tide on the other, you know, advertising different soaps. Uh, different, uh, well, programs which became known as soap operas. Uh, well, in the 1960s, you know, we still had what you called free TV. We don't have that anymore. But you got used to the ads. Remember Benjamin and Hedgens with the uh, cigarettes that were long enough and you went in the elevator and it cut it off? Or uh, the guys from Miller Lite you know, uh, Roger Dangerfield and the guys. I get no respect. Uh, those were good uh, advertisements, right? They sold. I mean, people watch advertisements for that. Today, you don't have many funny advertisements. You have a few. Uh, but, you know, the one I like best is probably uh, Bounty. Remember, when I was a kid, Bounty started in the 70s. And you had that actress, Nancy Walker. Remember her from Macmillan and Wife? The quicker picker-upper. Remember that? She's the one that started that phrase. Well, today's bounty is still as funny as when she did it. I like the one where everybody goes, No! As you see the thing go out, and they're trying to find bounty to get it. And uh, next thing you know, everybody's saying, No, 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 no! And you see the doggy underneath there saying, Yeah, yeah, yeah! See, that's the one I like. But that don't sell no more. Not like it did in the 60s, 70s, and 50s. But what sells today, like I said, is PBS. P. Politics. Oh, man, does that sell. How many of you are tired of those stupid politic ads on TV? I know I am. B. Bad news. Oh. You see, every time you have bad news, you have all major networks over there. Even the uh, evening news on all major networks preempted it and fly their anchors over there, wherever the bad news is. Big time ratings, right? And you know what the S is for, sex. But that only lasts a few minutes, you know. I mean, if Jennifer Flowers would have capitalized on this, she would have been a big girl. Same with Stormy Daniels, but it came stormy on her and left her... High and dry, poor Stormy. Uh, anyway, but out of the PBS, bad news is number one, I would say. You see all these bad news. Remember when they had the fires in California and Paradise got all destroyed there? Then you had the uh, mudslides and all these uh, floods that are happening in the Midwest. Then you see all these guys going all over there. When you got a hurricane, what do you see? All these guys, well, I'm here transmitting on the hurricane, and it's getting very windy here. Yeah, right. But the funny thing is, uh, people seem to like it, because that's what spikes news. If you have, oh, this couple here celebrating their 75th wedding anniversary, uh, who cares about that? Or, this guy saved a cat. Really? Or, this guy saved a burning car. Well... If you're not Sully Sullenberger, saving a whole bunch of people in the Hudson, 
that don't sell. And this is the way it is, America. Whatever happened to the good deeds? And the people that try to get money from the good deeds, that's terrible. You know, you celebrate anniversaries. Like this year, you're going to have a big anniversary for Columbine, 20th year anniversary, right? Whatever happened to the 50th anniversary of Woodstock? You going to have anything for that? I doubt it. This is your favorite alien sitting in for Andy Rooney saying, when are you going to wake up, Americans? You're heading down the precipice. Thanks.